So everyone, great evening. Welcome to the Mastermind Book Club. Tonight we are reviewing Your Word is Your Wand by none other than the author Florence Skowoshin. Florence Skowoshin was originally from New Jersey. New Jersey, not far away. She was born sometime in the early 1900s and died somewhere in the late 1970s, I believe. Um, she wrote the, the book that she's most known for is The Game of Life and How to Play It. Her second word, book is Your Word is Your Wand, the one we're covering right now. Why did she write this book? Because there were a lot of people questioning the game of life and how to play it, meaning it was a really good book and they needed more clarity on what she was saying. Then she wrote The Secret Door to Success, The Power of the Spoken Word. And there was one other book that she wrote, but it was written by the actual uh, book manufacturer. I don't remember the name of the book. I, I was reading about it. Um, so there's one more book out there. There's five actual books. Now, what is the importance about this book? So I want to talk about a few things. Arian uh, just mentioned to me before we started this recording about your vision board, right? That's one thing that's very important. I know that a few of you have resolved to meditation just like I have, that's very important, right? Number three, what's very important? Watching our tongues is very important. This book relates to the three of these, as well as how our emotions, our thoughts, our things, our potential things, our thoughts can be realized. And there's a certain way to realize our thoughts involving our hearts, our actions, our vision board, our meditation, and our words in a proper way. So if you're not certain how to apply this to your life, you need to read this book and a few other books. So what am I referring to? Number one, if I am asked today, what do I do for work? I would reply something like what Florence Scovo said. I do magical work in a magical way. I provide a magical service for a magical pay. Isn't that wonderful? To me, it's wonderful. I don't know about you. I thought it was crazy, insane, and very powerful. I do magical work in a magical way. I provide a magical service for a magical pay. These are the types of sayings we need to say. These are the types of things we need to be aware of. For Florence Kovalshin used to be married and whatever happened in a relationship, they didn't wind up together too long. They started out well, but Florence Kovalshin goes into her affirmations. If you're not meant for each other, one way, I don't know what the affirmation was exactly, but you've got to move on because one person could be hindering the other from moving on. How did she say it? Well, if the man is shopping on Fifth Avenue and the woman is shopping on Third Avenue, then you're not meeting up to your husband's needs. In this case, at that time that they were growing up, that's the way it was. So, you know, you've got to be on the same page. You know, it can't be just the one person's looking to shop in expensive shops or more, um, you know, uh, more shops that are lucrative that are that catered to a specific person while your spouse is shopping in the 99 cent store that doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense does it i don't think it makes sense so you've got to come to the same page on that so remember that you have a magical way you've got to find it these are some of the affirmations that i think are very helpful for you and for me God is incapable of separation or division. Therefore, my good is incapable of separation or division. I am one with my undivided good. I serve only faith, and my unlimited abundance is made manifest. Here's a few more from the book that I purchased the, in the past few days. The divine plan of my life cannot be tampered with. It is incorruptible and indestructible. It awaits only my recognition. 
Why? Because at times we're going to be challenged. We're going to be told, why are you doing that? That's insane. That's ridiculous. So remember some of these sayings. You know, if you don't remember what I just said, you might have to listen to the recording, which will be short. All things I seek are now seeking me. Isn't that beautiful and succinct? Hmm? How about this one? There is no divine loss if the object I am looking for is not found, then it's equivalent or something better will be given to me. I did this. I applied this in the last few days and it works. It works if you believe. It works if you're willing to have your vision board, your written statement, your meditative state implied, implemented. All right. What do I mean by implied? You have to feel as if it's happening right now. Okay. Not 10 years, not 20 years from now, right now. You have to live as if it's happening right now. Just two more that I, that I thought were very important. The law of God is the law of increase. The law of God is the law of increase. Are you listening to me, Martha, Gina, Ty, Reggie, Aria? The law of God is the law of increase. I give thanks for increase under grace in perfect ways. All right? Remember that. Okay, and one more. The last one. Nothing is too good to be true. Nothing is too wonderful to happen. Nothing is too good to last. I don't know how you imply, uh, apply this to your life, but all I can tell you is go for whatever it is that you want as whatever it is that people are telling you negatively, that's the reason why you should go after it with more heart, with more feeling, with more courage faith you either have faith or you're just hoping so let's stop the hope and let's apply more faith into this now this is the conclusion that she gives this is just two lines and then we're ending it here choose the affirmation which appeals to you the most and wave it over the situation which confronts you wave it over the situation that confronts you it is your magic wand for your word is is it is god in action it shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that whereunto it is sent. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the end of the world. So this is it for my review, my simple review of this book. But I highly recommend for those of you who want more in this, number one, write or make your vision board clear. Make certain whatever it is that you want. Write it down on your vision board or write it down on paper. That's number one. Number two, are you meditating on a daily basis or on a weekly basis? You see, the sooner you imagine yourself living the life you wanna live now, the sooner it's going to happen. It's not happening because you're not applying the wand to your specific state. It could be to your vision board. It could be to your writings. It could be to your meditation, all right? Being grateful is very important, but also living as if the actual life you want now is also very important, all right? Why am I saying all of this? There's a testimony from a 19 year old, which I'm gonna post in our WhatsApp group and in Facebook. Um, and it tells us how in September, this college student, uh, this high school student from Africa, 19 year old, wanted to go to Canada. And all of a sudden everything was blocked off for a few months. But in September, after reading one of these books, I believe it was Neville Goddard book, he, Within 22 minutes, he wrote a, a, a letter to the Nevolution Society, which you're going to get it in this um, video that I'm going to share, how he implemented his meditative state on a daily basis, three times a day, not once a day, three times a day, 
into living his purpose now, seeing himself not in Africa, seeing himself at the university in Canada now when he was told he wasn't going to be able to go there until January after getting into this meditative state, after being told that he would have to wait a few days to get his COVID test, after being told he might miss his flight, he still believed that he was going to do this much quicker than he uh, implied. This testimony is powerful if you want it to be powerful. If we're not accomplishing what we want, we have to apply the simple things that everyone here in this group mentioned. Everyone here mentioned something very important. It's not just one thing, it's applying everything together. Noticing that God is within us. God is within us and we're capable of accomplishing more. That's it for tonight's review on Your Word is Your Wand. And for next week, we're gonna have a book that um, is recommended by someone in this group. I don't know if they want me to mention it, but I thought it was a pretty good book. So I'm going to leave it until the morning. So that way you have a surprise in the morning. So that's it for the review for tonight. Thank you all from the mastermind book club. This book is very powerful. If you get a chance to order it, have it as your treasure. Let's just like I do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not your treasure, but I thought it was have a great evening. And thank you until next week, the Mastermind Book Club signing off. Remember, the most important thing about our own life is learning. And that's why we get anywhere. That's how we're going to progress. Thank you all. Have a great evening.